Remember gas station attendants? Guys in uniforms who'd clean your windshield, check your oil, and pump your gas? And a full tank would cost you just a few bucks. That's almost ancient history now. And soon, even today's gas stations will become history for many drivers as more and more electric vehicles hit the road. But even electric cars need to be refueled. And now St. Paul is one place where electric vehicle owners can feel welcomed. The city has installed electric vehicle charging stations for public use. In downtown, stations for hourly use will be available at the River Center, Smith Avenue, and First National Bank ramps. Stations for monthly contract use can be leased at the Lawson, Lower Town, and World Trade Center ramps. On-street stations will be located outside Union Depot and at Harriet Island. Outside of downtown, look for stations on the street in the Highland Park and McAllister Groveland neighborhoods and in the Spruce Tree Center ramp at Snelling and University Avenue. Plans for solar-powered stations are also in the works. The first two will be at Como Park, one next to the pavilion, and one south of McMurray Fields. There will be two charging stations at each location. Charging costs about a dollar per hour, and if you've ever used a credit or debit card to pay for gas at the pump, you'll find the process very similar. The charge point stations are accessible for hourly use by anyone with a major credit card or charge point network membership, or by calling the toll-free number displayed on the front of each station. Once you have activated the station, the LED screen guides you step by step. At mychargepoint.net, you can view a map of charge point stations and see which ones are currently occupied. The Eaton stations operate in much the same way, but are accessed using a key fob. Contact the ramp manager for the key fob and information about hourly or monthly rates. All stations provide both level 1 and level 2 charging. Level 1 is 120 volts and works on vehicles equipped with a standard three-pronged electrical plug. Level 2 is 220 volts and works on vehicles that have the 5-pin J1772 connector. Hourly charging stations are first come, first serve. Check the accompanying signage for parking regulations. Some parking spaces are available for any vehicle. Some are designated only for charging electric vehicles. And some are available for charging use only if reserved. You may park your car at a station for up to four hours while charging. If there is a power outage or the cable becomes disconnected, your charging session automatically stops and will not continue without your authorization. For more information, including a map of all the stations, check out the city's website at stpaul.gov slash EV charging stations. Helping to support electric vehicles is just one more piece of what makes St. Paul the most livable city in America. The City of St. Paul extends its thanks to the Department of Energy for the stimulus funding that made these stations possible.